Our universe contains infinite stories, most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. Okay, so this doesn't... It... It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page turn. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting. And a bit Here's dry. my grandpa. A certain Man, if he would have pulled out, that would have been hilarious. Dude would have gone down as a huge like legend. Can do with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually. These tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of human government. Barbecue parties. Still a legend for a true. Have In that legend forever. The Neolithic era draws to Could a... Could you imagine him getting like a the presidential medal of freedom beckons. though? That would have been fucking this hilarious. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. Just have a picture of Obama putting a medal on that guy. Push humankind. I guess it would have been a Bush. That was so long ago it wouldn't even have been Obama. A new era. A new epoch. It might have been Obama. It would have been While your Obama tribe was. looks to you for leadership, the weight of all those future, unborn generations also weighs upon your decisions. What sort of lives will they have? Your first objective is to survive the Neolithic era and earn your first era star. Era stars measure your achievements in the game. We will cover more of them soon. Understood. Alright, so. Uh, I want to move here. This way. Just because a culture died out doesn't mean it wasn't worthy of study. You found a curiosity uh, ancient encampment providing plus one science and plus one star. Okay. What do I have to do with these people? Is our uh, effective? Okay, so we're we're a nomadic tribe. Okay. It was in 2009. Okay, so yeah, it would have been Obama. Then it would have been early Obama era. Sustenance, security, and pleasure. Wonderful stuff. This simple food. Okay, so we've got, you found a curiosity. Wild berries provided plus five food on the hunting party and plus one star. Okay. What's here? This way. Move. This way. Onward. This is interesting. So you start off as nomadic in this instead of, uh... What's over there? Unknown strategic resources. You do not know... Okay, so we don't know what's here yet. But yeah, you start off as nomadic in this instead of, uh... My feet hurt. This is interesting. Uh, events will occur during the game based on how you play and how you shape your empire. It is up to you to choose how to respond to these historical changes. Carefully review the proposed choices to make a best possible decision for you and your people. Understood. Uh, where do I check those decisions, though? Uh, uh, yesterday the tribe came across a vast tract of wild grain. The stalk swaying uh, in the breeze like the wind playing over golden waters. The ground down grain could feed the tribe twice over... But one of the tribal elders had another idea. Instead of pounding the seeds into flowers, she suggests planting half of them so the grasses may return next summer. It is a curious idea at odds with the nomadic life, but perhaps a harboring of the future. What should we do? Uh, we must begin to harvest natural rhythms, grind. Uh, 
let's plant. Alright, we'll try to be able to plant them. This way. Alright, so we're still nomadic. Uh, clone. Yeah, true. It is. Actually, uh, it seems like obviously a lot influenced by Civ, but it seems different so far. Gary Brooks Faulkner was the man who tried it. Oh, okay. I wonder if he's related to uh, Bruce Faulkner. World Deed Unlocked. A, a wonderful clone Asian has been unlocked by another empire. Okay, so somebody else got that. Uh, if you need more information about the uh, many concepts and mechanics, make sure to check out the tutorial video. Simply play... Okay. Oh, we got an elephant over here. Uh, battle before your army, a wild animal, or city you can preview in order to do so. We have 11, they have 14, I think. Is that? Yeah, okay, so we can't fight that fucking thing yet. We're too weak. Man is still alive. That's not surprising me. Where is the Asian? I'm actually not sure if this is a real Earth map or not. This way. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Go there. We need that. You found a curiosity ancient encampment. Plus one science, plus one star. Okay. We move. Oh, yeah, no, go right there. Oh, you go here. Ancient encampment. Do these pop up randomly like other places I've been to? It doesn't look like it. Or at least they don't show up where I am. Oh, but your army has enough influence points to find this first outpost. Those posts are crucial to the development of your early empire because they allow you to claim territory outlined via white dotted areas on the map. Okay, understood. I acknowledge. Uh, can we move here? No, can we? Uh, uh, yeah, we'll do that next turn. Uh -huh. Knowledge, and then we're going to found an outpost. Uh, outposts exploit food and industry and can be turned into cities when you reach the ancient area. Take a bit of time to choose the best possible spot for both strategically and economically. Knowledge, okay. Two production, three food, and a star. Okay. Let's put it here. All right, we got mimosa. All right, then we got a decision. Uh, a world of flame in the distance. A thin cord of smoke croats up into the clear blue sky. Fire, calling a few tribes when you run close to the smell of uh, cindered bark and burning pine grows stronger with each footfall. You spy dancing flames and suddenly find yourself on the edge of a settlement uh, on fire. Many of the structures are ablaze, but even with the smoke and flames, you can see these abodes are marvels of craftsmanship. You are about to direct your men to put out the fires with the loose soil. When you see short, shadowed figures running away, use. They could become part of your tribe if you give chase now, uh, but that would mean losing these secrets of construction. What is your choice? Uh, army refugees or city defense research cost. Uh, let's get population right now. Nice. Now we got two tribes. Perfect. He was 66 at the time. Really? I thought he was like way younger than that. I thought it was like a dude in his 20s. Like some fucking... Uh, like fucking turbo neat type shit. Uh, are you drinking it straight or mixed? Mixed, I'd say vodka. Straight go with the whiskey. Uh, there are three ways to earn, uh, gain your air star. Either increase your population, gather science from science community curiosities, or hunt down wild animals. In order to gain units, increase your population, gather food through hunting wild animals and foraging curiosities. Counter measure the progress of the Empire Banner in the upper left corner of the screen. Hover over them for more details. Okay. Uh, have five population within your Empire. Okay. Every empire has traditions and customs that can spread from territory to territory. In humankind, this uh, propagation is known as cultural influence or star influence. There are many ways you can earn or spend star influence in the game. In the Neolithic era, earn star influence by hunting and discovering science curiosities. You can use the star influence to found your first outpost and take control over territories. Understood. 
Okay, we got one star influence per turn. Uh, trade relays. This is a trade relay. Uh, okay. Uh, these checkpoints connect trade routes. Can be found in neutral territories. Trade relays are vulnerable elements of hostile networks. Uh, are vulnerable elements of trade networks. Hostile armies can occupy them, poaching part of the resources and money from the empires to trade via the trade routes that pass through. Doing so will trigger a grievance for the empires whose trade is effective. Trade relay may also be completely destroyed, which will cut off any trade routes that connect through it. If you create an outpost or a city in a territory that already contains a trade relay, it will automatically replace the relay and keep following trade. Keep the trade flowing. Okay. Uh, oh my god, Jesus Christ. These notifications pop up so quickly. Uh, I only drink share from the bottle. Yeah, you gotta go with the whiskey then. Man was 66. Oh, damn. He was dying and asked Fortran what he should bring with him to Pakistan and attempt to kill Osama. The most voted thing was a sword and some night vision goggles. Uh, that is hilarious. Uh, one of your trade relays is being poached. Both you and your empire connected with via trade relay will lose. Uh, how is it being poached? Uh, yeah, I, uh, my guys are here. How is it being poached if it's just my guys here? I'm so confused about this. Uh, okay, so we can send you guys over here, I guess. We got another mammoth here. What's the difference in battle? 11 again, yeah. This way. I don't know if I need to get a better access to... Oh, nice, we got some nuts. Oh, is there a sanctuary here? Interesting, what's yes. that? Oh, well, well. Hmm. I want to know what the sanctuary does first. You know, whatever. We'll, we'll just wait till next turn. Would you like a Cuban for a peace offering? Uh, the madman apparently beat the fucking cancer. Oh, he still isn't dead? That's fucking dope. I think you just mentioned that, but... Alright, we'll go here. Acknowledge. What does this sanctuary mean? Okay, rich diverse. Alright, you guys. Um, I don't know where I want to send you guys. I guess we can send you into the interior. We could send them down here, but it looks like this is just snow and shit. Oh, no, go here. Hey, you got to play 10 turns. Let's go. Uh, the Madman apparently be a counter propaganda campaign will cost you, but our citizens should know the truth and celebrate this victory. Uh, we will visit the battlefield, recover evidence of our victory, and display it in the capital for all the mighty to learn. Oh, we can... plus 20 science. What's, uh, celebrating? Plus 10 stability. Let's do document. Yes. Document, by far the best. We get one turn and we get our new technology, which will allow us to get horses, and then we can fuck them up. Uh, my outside cat just gave me a present, a fucking rat. <laughs> Man, I remember my one cat when I was a kid, it would just always bring me birds. Like, literally, like, every couple days, it would just have a fucking bird. I think it was an amazing hunter. turn and then we'll get fucked up uh population game nice oh and we got domestication researched nice oh thank god they avoided us okay uh we want to get you out of here okay yeah we'll leave you we'll leave you there for now you guys we want to pull over here Uh, you guys will send up here. Uh, oh, we can get the calendar. We can get carpentry. 
city defenses. Uh, nobody's really close to us, so I feel like calendar might be the best way to go. Hey, calendar research. Nice. Alright, now what do we got? Alright, you guys are here. Man, I'm trying to get... This guy's just being a dick. I'm trying to get these guys out of here. Okay, we'll pull you back. And then... Follow me. Palisades and Warriors. Uh, let's do Carpentry for now. Because again, we're pretty far from the battle location. We should be good. Okay, he's dipping out. Good. Oh, nice. Okay, so now they're together as one unit. Come over here. We'll bring you guys over here, and then I can slowly heal up. You guys. Over this way. Oh, hello. Okay, nice. We got carpentry researched. I feel like we're gonna start snowballing here pretty soon. A bunch of these different tech decisions have really helped me. I need to <coughs> start getting outposts and stuff though. I think you need like 180 for each outpost or something. Yeah, what do you need for... <coughs> <laughs> yeah, we need 111. Let's go. And we got an old horde. Uh. Off we go. Let's go. Okay, we gotta head to friendly territory. Alright, we gotta head back here. It'll take us seven turns, but we'll get back there. You guys. And then science. We'll get city defense now. this offer what do we got here is a proposal to get your heart racing uh here we you can see active badges me. uh uh okay merchant 
Uh, so it's just supposed to improve your relationship. Ex buyers can only trade luxury goods between each other. Accept. A proposal as fair as a summer's day. We accept. No, they Every have the potato McWhiskey's like voice for Let's this. is fucking hilarious. Alright. Okay, what we got irrigation, fishing. I should do fishing, honestly. Masonry or bronze working. Oh, if we get bronze working, we get our special unit. Yeah, we'll do bronze working. Off we go. Uh, ransacking. Ransacking animal sanctuaries, outposts, and city districts. Select a ransack option. It'll take a few turns to complete indicating. Okay. Come over here. Oh, there. No, I went to the wrong one. Oh, yeah. You guys go here next turn. Nice. We got 10 fame for that. Perfect. And then we're going to send you guys here. 40 gold. One idle army. Oh, shit. There's a Assyrian army here. And they've set up an outpost on the horses. That's not good. Uh, yeah, we'll start sending you guys back. How many moon do you have? One. Go. go here. Nice. Bronze working researched. Let's get... Fishing. Has the city completed this yet? No, three turns, and then it's done. Okay. Uh, and then you... Three movement, yeah. Follow me. I can establish an outpost here. Fuck. Uh, wait, I need 161 influence now? Why did the influence amount go up? Is it just depending on, like, which area I'm in? Hmm. Nice. We got fishing done. Hey. Wait, what did they change about us? Will we end the day friends or foes? Oh, they're pleasant with us. Okay.
Over this way. Uh, so yeah, does it depend on like, what right. if I go here? No, it's still 161 influence, okay. Alright, so uh, you can now build harbor to exploit coastal tiles and build ships. Be careful though, you will not be able to navigate deep waters unless you have the right ships unlocked by technology research. Harbors allow armies to embark and disembark without consuming their movement points. Understood. Uh, one of the several constructible, one or several constructibles cannot be built as you don't have enough resources to obtain. Resources obtained and more. So by building new extractors. Uh, Constructing infrastructure with effects on those resources or trading with other empires. Understood. Okay, so this is part of infrastructure. Uh, granary. Okay. Well, we should <coughs> probably build pottery workshops first, right? Yeah, let, let's build the pottery workshop. Okay. And that'll take us uh, five turns. And then we'll get irrigation. Let us formalize. What do you want here? Non-aggression pact. You fascinate me. Uh, yeah, I'll accept that. Accepted. With pleasure. This is cause for celebration. Let's take a moment to enjoy life. Okay, we'll grab this. Acknowledge. Oh, we got multiple here. Um, go here. We can grab this one in this turn. Acknowledge. Hey, collect 20 curiosities over several games. Let's go. Over here. 